ignore all the cables on the floor, I'm in the middle of testing. So one thing that I find absolutely insane about the Switch 2 versus Switch 1, or even the PS5, is that it has much more support for USB audio. This is my stereo amplifier, which unlike an AV receiver, doesn't process HDMI. It features RCA, optical, and USB that supports up to 384 kHz. Switch 1 and even PS5 Pro only detect USB Audio Class 1 products, however this being capable of more than 96 kHz is USB 2, thus not detected. When I plug the amp into the dock, the Switch 2 recognises it displaying the device's name. You can see here that the amp is reporting 48 kHz, which is what I would expect from the Switch 2. If you do this, the best practice is to max the volume on the Switch 2 side as you'll be controlling the volume on your receiver. By default, there is a volume limit set on the Switch 2. Try to increase the volume again beyond max and you'll be prompted to disable this. That's fine. Disable and max. Lower the volume on your amp before you play any sounds in case you get any static or something. I've already tested this, so I'm going to do the opposite. Sorry neighbours. For the Switch 1, as demonstrated in a previous video, a USB device that caps at 96kHz will be detected as USB. If I try what I just did with the Switch 2 on the Switch 1, you'll see that there is no signal at the moment, and when I plug it in that'll change to 44.1kHz, but you don't hear anything and there's no USB notification on the screen either. It's still using the HDMI audio. There's no other sound options here either. It's kinda crazy. Over on Switch 2, the system settings now actually has a dedicated audio section. It'll be the headphone settings that apply here, since we did disable the lower max headphone volume option. So, you might want to compare the headphone virtual surround option as well to see if that works for you. If you have multiple DACs, it does remember the individual device's volumes. This one I muted. The lower max headphone volume option, however, does seem to be global. As for Mojo 2, I have that audio maxed as well. This bad boy has its own volume buttons. What happened to my voice?